Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're going to talk about our HydroCore mill. The HydroCore mill is the easiest version of the mill there is. Order of complexity, HydroCore mill requires the least control but the most speed with the least damaging item if you clock yourself in the head. After that, let's say mace in sword grip is fairly easy but it's complex to get into. The heavy club mill is the ultimate mill essentially and so we're working all of these versions. We always work all the versions of every exercise. We try to repeat certain themes with all the apparatus that we have because when we can do the mill with all three apparatus in 25 different formats, then we're pretty good at milling. We work the mill with all the apparatus and all these different formats so that we become more efficient over time. We're working to maximize our rotation and our casting pattern in a multitude of different ways. There's probably gonna be at least 20 versions of the mill on this channel in short order. Point your feet straight ahead, two hands on. We start with our side to side swing as is our most foundational and important movement. We build into that circle where we catch and we carry across the top. If any of you do Aikido, you will find this movement very familiar. With the mill, we are now going to add the circle behind the body. We have our inside circle, we plant our feet solidly, we rotate our body, we sit in our back leg. We lock out both arms. When we swing across the bottom, we rotate 180 degrees and we shift into the new back leg. When we pull, the weight starts to come towards us. With this apparatus, we have to pull and go straight to the back position to keep from clocking ourselves in the face. If you clock yourself in the face with a hydro core, it's funny, but it doesn't hurt that much. When we get to the back, the back is the tricky part. As the bag is going behind us, we have to rotate across and use our legs at the same time to absorb the force of the bag, rotate around, use our rear leg to pop the weight up to get our arms moving in the correct direction. The mill will force you to rotate very far. If the bag is wobbling across the bottom, what that means is your arms aren't level. So take your hands from here, put them on the same plane, drive this elbow down, pull this shoulder blade back to connect with the rear lat. Your rear lat on these exercises is always the most important. The problem is it changes. Now this is our rear lat. When we pull with our lat, we're gonna pull the bag towards us, rotate across, this one takes over. So think about cycling back and forth between one lat for the circle and one lat for the high part of the swing. Let's demonstrate this on the other side. Usually people rotate one way very well. Right-handed people rotate that way very well because that's how they throw. Almost nobody rotates this way very well. 10% of the population is left-handed. I don't know what percentage of those people play baseball, but I don't know if it's high. We're gonna start with that side-to-side -side swing. Get it up, pull, and rotate. Plug this movement into your HydroCore programming. You can start with the HydroCore light. That's the beauty of the HydroCore. You can download it. You can't download a mace and you can't download a club, but you can download a HydroCore. You could make it one pound if you wanted to and then add a pound every day until it gets up to 25 pounds. Set a timer, do it for time. A minute one way, a minute the other way. The interesting part about this is remembering which way you just went. So pick one side and think of it, either the top or the bottom. On the top, I went right. On the bottom, I went left. Pick one of those two things left or right. When you go the other way, remember the same thing, remember the top. If you just went right at the top, then on the next one you need to make sure you're going 
left at the top. Most people don't realize this, but when they get tired, they kind of start to lose a bit of cognitive function and they will start doing the same direction over and over and over again, and they will always default to their good side. Avoid that by trying to do your bad side first.